Cadillac Evans Scottish and Road Race was born um, mainly because in, in Victoria they're, they're uh, world renowned for their events. They're one of the world's capital cities of the uh, for events, running major events. Um, as we see with the Tennis Open, Australian Tennis Open, Formula One, uh, Golf, uh, MotoGP, etc. And uh, Cadell Evans himself, it was 10 years ago that he'd, uh, he'd uh, become world champion, uh, he'd won the Tour. Great opportunity here in Victoria to, to get an event up and that was of interest to the Victorian government, Visa Victoria. Having the World Tour come to Australia and the first race of the 2020 season with the Cadell Evans Great Ocean Road Race is huge, just particularly for women cycling in Australia, you know. It's amazing to show the public just how serious and how professional and how amazing women's cycling is. And I think, you know, is a huge compliment to the organizers who took this step. And uh, for sure, this race is one of the best on the calendar and it deserves this ranking. You know, we have a weekend of racing, public rides, kids ride. We want to include everyone. And that's of course, female, females as well in on every level from the, from the kids on training wheels to the, to the top women in the world. And um, a big part of it for me was um, promoting cycling for the future and of course what better way to inspire young girls who might be on the roadside with their mother or their father or their brother or whatever watching than having, uh, being inspired by the, by the best female riders in the world to maybe choose cycling as a future sport. The concept of having a women's world tour race um, was born when we had started with the men but it all had to go on each step uh, year by year. So we were able to achieve the men's World Tour um, status uh, after three years. Uh, with the women's it took a little bit longer, mainly because we wanted to run parallel to the development of women's racing. So even though you have had the World Tour calendar for women's uh, racing, it's taken a little bit of time before the teams actually developed. Uh, in particular for the teams, they, tip, uh, they have uh, a single program so meaning only 10 riders. So if they're uh, developed and, and grown, uh, their budgets of course, um, that uh, enables them to be able to come to Australia for a longer period of time, uh, be more prepared to race out in Australia, but also developing that, that level of, of, um, of racing. This is my favourite race of the whole year and it was before it was World Tour so it's just run super well and um, I think having having such a high level race in Australia to start the year is just really special. I love preparing for the season in Australia and it's great that the teams come out for the first races of the year but to now be here with for the first World Tour race as well in Australia is extra special. One of the key points we wanted to do was have the women's race standalone so having its own day and that's what we've done on the Saturday. So we have the women's race, we have a, a sportive ride in the morning, um, which sort of helps a little bit because those people really engage with the women's teams. And we also do live television. So we've had live television from year one. Uh, and yeah, it's working really well. And we get great feedback from all the women's teams that it's about them and we want to celebrate that. And uh, having a, a fantastic sponsor like Deakin University, um, who's very pro in, in women in, in, in business and women in sport. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just been a really great fit uh, for what we want to achieve. Uh, it's so special to race in Australia. I mean, I'm an Aussie, I'm now in the national champions jersey as well. So there's nothing like coming back and racing on home roads. I've got family, friends on the sidelines here. It's just something I never get to experience. So really special. I really love the Cadell Evans Great Ocean Road Race because it's such a versatile race, so many things can happen. You've got the flat, windy at the beginning and then you go into the short, sharp, punchy climbs at the end and, you know, so it can go for a breakaway, it can go for a hill climber, a sprinter can suffer over you. And I think that that is what makes road cycling really exciting when multiple different types of riders can win the race rather than just three or four girls. I think in the next five years we're just going to keep building on what we, we're doing now and I think uh, yeah, we, we're just going to attract more and more uh, people here, and, uh, which is always nice, uh, more fans, but I just think it's just going to be, you know, establish itself uh, uh, more and more as, as, as a world class event in the World Tour uh, ranking and World Tour um, system, so yeah, we're excited. Um, I, I tend to be here for a lot longer and no one else is uh, looking at moving along too, too soon either, so uh, you'll see us around. <laughs>